And welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. I think I kind of just want to go to sleep at this point. Just so I can open up the uh, mining district. Also, we made no money today. Oh well. We have a lot of stuff in the ground though. Eventually it will make us plenty of money. But hopefully the bridge is fixed. Hey, Bo. You done? Yep, we're done. Time to head to the mine. But before we do that, we should probably take care of all our chores for the day. So let's go take care of our calves and our uh, plants. What if our turnips are ready yet? Probably not. It'll probably be a while before they're done. Also, it's windy today, even though technically the wind is supposed to be broken. Wait, flowers are done. I'm gonna go ship these. Oops, that was a weed. Also, picking weeds in this game kind of drains your energy pretty quickly. Like, compared to other games where it was barely did anything, in this game, pulling a weed kind of takes a big chunk out of it. Which is kind of weird. Also, my potatoes are done. Goody. Oh, we got a perfect one. We got two perfect ones. Goody. Although, I don't think I have any seeds to replace them with, really. Uh... Nah, I have some cabbage seeds. I might go grab some more later. But hey, we got some profit coming in. Which is good, because I want to buy more stuff. But for now, let's just get everything watered. These turnips should be done within a day or two. And my grass, I think I don't need to, I think I'm past the point where I need to water it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's just get all my cabbages and my turnips watered. Oh, and my lettuce, that's right. I planted lettuce. Because lettuce is kind of used for stuff later on. But yeah, at some point I'm going to run to the marimba farm. So I can grab some more lettuce. Or not lettuce, uh, more seeds. Maybe more lettuce seeds, who knows. But not right now. Right now I'm going to water everything and then we're going to head to the mining district. Because there is some more stuff we need to see. And by more stuff I mean more people. Oh, I'm slightly better at watering. Now I can technically upgrade my watering can. Although it's going to be a little while before we can unlock that. We're going to need to find some metal. Metal and money. Mostly metal. Alright. Now then, let's go grab my cow. Here we go. Hey, Ellie. You okay? You look hungry. Here you go. Alright, and then let's brush her and then we'll get going. Oh, right, I need to ship the potatoes. Don't want to forget that. Alright, two perfect and a normal. We should also probably let Ellie out now that it's kind of sunny outside. Animals like it when it's sunny or when it's basically not raining outside. Do not let them out when it's raining. They will get sick. And getting sick is expensive. Oh, I also have turn- I almost got turnips. Tulips to sell, don't I? I could give those away as gifts, but I kind of want money more than friendship right now. Money is kind of good. But anyways, off to see the Harvest Goddess. Hopefully she's around. Also time to start stockpiling on gifts. Uh, I forget. I know one person who likes mushrooms. Other than that, I can't think of anyone else. And not even those type of mushrooms either. Oh well, maybe I'll figure it out later. I do know a couple of the best gifts, like tea. Herbal tea is really good for almost everyone. Like, I think most of the characters either really like it or just plain love it. So we'll be making plenty of those later. 
But we're gonna need a pot before we do that and plenty of herbs. Both of which we don't really, we really can't afford right now. Yep, it's fixed. Now we can just walk right over it. I would say we could have jumped the gap, but that gap was pretty big. But anyways, welcome to the mining district. This is where we're going to get all of our upgrades and our furniture. We're going to be spending a lot of money here. Also, I don't think we can ever actually go up to those houses, which is a shame. That would be an interesting way to farm. Actually, no, that wouldn't really work. Yes, we are. She is living around here. Let's go find her. Although we could have... There's a bear there. Oh, baby bear. Mama Bear might be kind of mad at me if I did this. Oh, Mama Bear. Okay, anyways, let's go see the Harvest Goddess. Also, yeah, do not ever actually pet a baby bear like that. Mama Bear will not be happy. See? Mama Bear is really angry at me right now. And apparently... Is that a weasel? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna let us through. I have a sickle. I could probably force my way through. Actually, no, that's a bear. I'm not gonna force my way through a bear. Also, there's a rabbit back there. Even the squirrel is angry at us. Yeah, we're not going to get through there anytime soon. Huh. Not really. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find someone. Let's, oh, although they seem to be pretty nice here. I mean, she's not trying to maul my face right now. Oh well. So let's go ask around a bit. Uh, let's go ask around a bit in like a half an hour. Okay, yeah, we have about 30 minutes to kill. Let's see. Anyone else around right now? Oh, hey, Sparrow. Oh, bye, Sparrow. I think there's some more animals around here. Oh, wait, there he is. Hi, Snake. I'm gonna pet a snake. He really likes it. Oh, hey, Bo. You don't say. A rabbit just tried to eat my face. Have a raspberry. Eh, that's okay. Let's see. Uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Let's head over there. So we're going to take a quick look at all these shops. That's the blacksmith. We can't do anything there and we'll go there later. Accessory shop will go there later. General store will go there later. And where is it? Carpenter. We're going to go there right now. Hello, anyone home? Oh, he has a dog. One of those big derpy dogs. I remember seeing that dog around. I kind of want a dog. Also, your mustache is kind of making your mouth look weird. Actually, yeah, I would like to close the roof. I don't see how not. I suppose wood might be affected. Yeah, lumber. Right now, wood is kind of broken. I'll say, what's your son's name? We were there. Actually, no, we haven't gone in there yet, have we? We might stop by there later.
But yep, this is Dale. He'll be fixing our stuff eventually. I want a dog. Alright, good to know. If we ever see Luke, we'll tell him to come home. Technically, no we don't, but yeah, we should probably figure out our way through those animals. Maybe Dale has an idea. Yeah, you have a dog. Can we use your dog? You are the only one with a pet so far. We don't even have a pet yet. Well, we only have like a few days probably. Is there any way to speed it up? Oh, that's adorable. Actually, yeah, couldn't we just get Dale to move the animals for us? Well, great. Sounds like we're going to need to find that whistle. Alright, sounds like we're heading to the general store. Which is like right next door. Although we do have a book now. Maybe we can use the book against the animals. No, that's not going to work. Got it, Finn. Alright, to the general store, which is right over there. We're going to be here a lot anyways. The general store is like what it uh, sounds like. This is pretty much where we're going to buy most of our furniture. And our cooking supplies. I'm going to want to buy a pot. Although I don't have any money right now. I think everything costs like around 1000 to 2000 Ooh, is that candy? I kind of want to buy some candy. And is that an industrial mixer? <laughs> wow, you guys really do sell everything. Hey, Barbara, you have green hair. Oh, what do we get? Is it money? I would really like some money. Nope, we've got, oh, we just got a guidebook. Actually, we might take a look at that at some point. Also, you have a picture of the mayor, too. Man, nobody in this town has a good life right now. Oh. Uh... We should probably go look for her then. Well, that happened. But yeah, we should probably go into the mine at some point. Although I'm sure she's fine. But yeah, why do you have a picture of the mayor too? Everyone apparently loves their mayor. Like, there he is. Yep, that's the Oh, apparently he wrote a book. Also, is that a National Geographic on cows? And a guidebook. What else is around here? Hey, Barbara. I want to talk to you real quick. Let's see. Yeah, everything's kind of expensive. We can't afford anything right now. What we can do, though, is talk to her. Let's see if she has that whistle we're looking for. Well, it's a whistle you use with animals. Ah, great. 
Well, maybe someone else around here knows about it. We never met Julius, but he lives in Flute Fields. I remember that much. Wow, he has quite a commute. I didn't think anyone in this game actually commuted, but apparently he does. Anyways, accessory store is right next door. So then, let's go check with the accessory store people. Maybe they can- actually, maybe they can just make us a whistle. They are an accessory store. We could buy a really nice necklace, but let's not. I never actually really bought accessories in this game. You and every other store in the town. Also, you're kind of a dick. Well, I could get you some gems. No, no, you're still a dick. Good to know. But yeah, this is Julius. He kind of doesn't really fit in with the rest of the people in town. For one thing, he has purple hair. And he's kind of lazy and yeah, he's not exactly the nicest people. But yeah, I want to take over the store. It's mine now. Screw farming. I'm going to be a store manager. Or not. Yeah, they're not going to let you stop farming, silly. And yeah, normally Mira runs the shop, but she's kind of not doing so well right now. Let's see if Julius knows about the whistle. How do you pronounce that star, I wonder? Nope, you don't know either. I don't know if I would trust you to appraise my accessories. Oh, Well, at least now we know where it is. Alright. Over to the blacksmith. They're gonna make us go everywhere. That is kind of the thing about the early part of this game. It's good in that it makes you know where everything is. It's bad in that it takes forever. But, let's go to the blacksmith. Maybe they'll finally have our whistle. But yeah, this is the blacksmith. This is where we get our tools upgraded once we, uh, get the money and the metal. Unfortunately, if you kind of remember, right now we can't really do anything here. Because the fire is broken. Hey, Ramsey, do you have my whistle? I just said that, but yeah, this is where we upgrade, but... Well, with the whole fire not working properly, we can't actually upgrade anything. Alright, maybe if we can fix that, we'll come back. Why would the problem be in the mine? Well, at least someone in this town is supportive. I like you, Ramsey. Now then, tell me if you have my whistle. Well, it hasn't really changed in the last five minutes. Well, Owen's in the mine, so we should probably head there. Mm -hmm. 
Got it. Alright, we're off to the mine then. The mine is like right at the tip of the area. Which is, makes sense considering it's the mining district. Although technically there are other mines in the game. But let's finally head into the mine. Uh, once I get off here. It's right over here. So how the mine works in this game, although we don't really have a hammer. So we can't really go mining, per se. But we might as well take a look inside. Hi there, we haven't met before. Hey Owen, have you seen Chloe? She kinda has my whistle. What might help if you actually went down further than like two feet from the entrance. Also, we get a little hammer. Hammer is useful because it makes us break stuff. Yep, we can break rocks into material stone or to find like ore. Wait, I kind of need to ask. Okay, fine. Uh, we should probably go follow him. Because we still need to find out where that stupid whistle is. Anyways, mining. Basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, we can't do anything on this floor. The stairs will always be somewhere on the floor, and they're visible. So, you don't have to go digging everywhere with your hoe. But basically how mining works. Take your hammer, break rocks, hope for ore. Uh, anything at all. Whoops. Don't hit the wall. Oh wait, that's ore. What is this? Uh, silver. Okay, I need that. But yep, this is how mining works. It's pretty simple, but I kind of like it that way. Also, these gems. Breaking them usually gets you jewels so you can make accessories. I usually don't really bother with accessories, so I don't usually break them. And uh, nothing else good. Let's just head down. We want to head down to the 10th floor. Also, cracks are back. They break almost immediately when you step on them. So there's no, like, delay, like, in a magical melody. They'll just drop you. So you kind of got to be careful around cracks. Also, we're already starting to get low in energy. Wow, we're not getting any ore. Yeah, we're starting to get tired. Let's stop doing that. Let's just head down. Hi, Mr. Mole. We want to head down to around floor 10. That should be where Owen and Chloe are. Also, I kind of need to break my way through this. I'm just going to eat this raspberry. For that little energy boost. That was a very little energy boost. But it should be just enough for me to break through. We're okay now, though. And we're down to floor 10. Hey, guys. Eh. Yep, we haven't even seen Chloe yet. Yeah, have you ever seen a little kid with a whistle? They are so annoying with them. Also, we probably shouldn't give one that makes animals come to her. Considering there's a bear wandering around outside. Oh, thank you. Well, we finally got our animal whistle. And it only took like an hour, like actually like 20 minutes. Also, let's talk to him again real quick. Eh, it's fine. I do want to upgrade at some point, though. So, yeah, this is pretty much going to stop us from going any deeper right now. So we might as well just get out of here. 
off to the first floor. And with that, I think we'll end the episode. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade, we're finally gonna see the Harvest Goddess after like four episodes. And like two days. Things move a bit slower in this game. So, till next time.